Hi, I'm Carrie from Dendriad Art and Press for Design and in this video I'm going to show you how to draw this Celtic knot tree. I've done it on a few different sizes here, so this one's an A5 size and this one's an A4 size. This one's going to be in my next Celtic Knotwork colouring book and today I'm actually going to draw mine on a piece of card that's 12 centimetres by 16 centimetres. But it's easily adaptable to whatever size card you want to use. So this method of drawing Celtic knots is really easy, it's great for beginners, it's not what I would normally use for drawing Celtic knots but it's perfect for this. And we're going to start off by drawing a guideline, uh, a diamond shape and it doesn't have to be perfect because this is a tree that we're doing so it's organic so it doesn't want to be perfect and everything measured out. All you want to have really is just the base of this diamond just under the halfway mark. So halfway mark is probably about there. So the base of the diamond is just under. Then we're going to just turn it on its side so you've got an almost square. And we're going to put some more guidelines in. So one to divide it in half. And then another line to divide each of these sections in half. And then we'll turn it around the other way and do exactly the same. So one guideline to divide the square in half. And then one guideline in each of the sections to divide the other sections in half. And as I say, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. So what we're going to put in now, in an every intersection, we're just going to put a little square around every intersection might even be a rectangle shape and this is going to denote the spaces in between the knots. So just continue and add all of those into the different intersections. And now that all the intersections are in place we're going to put in the line. So we're going to start up in this top left hand corner. So keep your um, paper at an angle so that it looks like you've got a square in front of you rather than a diamond like so. And we're going to start in this top left hand corner. We're going to place two parallel lines between or on the edge that run tangent to these two uh, squares. So one parallel line there on the inside and one parallel line parallel line here on the inside. So that's your two parallel lines. Now on the next square we're going to put these lines on the outside of the squares. So we've got two parallel lines that come from the outside of the squares. Next box we're going to go back to the inside of the squares. And the final box we're going back to the outside of the squares. Okay, for the next row, put your fingers over just so that you're just showing up the final line of lines, and then you're going to repeat. So, this one's on the outside, so this one's going to be on the outside on this one. This line here is on the inside, so this line's going to correspond with it and go on the inside of the boxes. This is on the outside. So that's going to repeat and go on the outside. This one's on the inside, so that's going to repeat and go on the inside. And then we'll move our hands along again and just do the same process. So that's on the inside now. Inside, outside, inside, and repeat. Okay, that's all those lines put in. Now we're going to put in some lines uh, that are horizontal and these lines are only going to go in the spaces where you've got two parallel lines on the outside of the boxes like so. So our first one's going to go in here and these parallel lines for all of them will go on the inside of the boxes. Okay. So we can see one here as well. On this row we've got one here. 
and to the end. On the third row, we've got this one. And on the final row, we've got this one. So now you can see that we've got our Celtic knot weave. So what we're going to do now is just join these knots up so that this woven line here needs to go around and join up with this one so it'll go look as if it's going underneath here and coming around to there. So to do that, this line here just goes around this triangle, this diamond shape and meets up. And then the outer line here goes around and meets up here. And you can see now that that weave looks as if it's going around and under. So we'll repeat for here. So now that looks like it's going around and under. We're going to do this section here now. Okay, so that looks like it's going around and under. And then this section here. In this corner, we're just going to do the top one for this corner. So we're just going to do this one, and for this corner, we're just going to do this top one. So the rest of this now is going to go into our um, trunk of the tree. Now you can see we've got some areas where we've got lines crossing, that's fine. Just rub those out, just so that you know that you don't need those. And here. Okay. So from this intersection where the final two knots were done, just underneath is where we're going to take the line for the trunk of the tree. So ignore this section for the moment. We're just going to draw the trunk of the tree in. So just come out and down and around just a nice long curve and then the same on this side come out from under here and around and a nice long curve and you can always pause the video if you need to have a, a better look and now we're going to put in the base of the trunk of the tree so if I just get mine over you can see that two branches join together here and then they form a little knot around here but then another two branches join together here so we're just going to take some of these lines out so we're going to take this line out and just curve that top bit around a little bit and again we're going to take this line out and the edge And that can curve around a little bit and then this section here now we're going to form into a loop so let's take this line out this line out and then just loop that around okay. and then we can just loop that out and then we've got the trunk the tree. So that's ready now just for outlining and then we can get on and add some details. I've outlined the tree with my fine liner pen and now I'm going to just add in some parallel lines all the way around. The first parallel line I'm going to put in is just from this center edge down here into a pointed shape and from this edge down here into a pointed shape. So that's going to be the top of my tree. And then the rest of the parallel lines I'm just going to put in around all the edges of the knots. Like 
like so. So all the way around until all of the trees fall up. For the trunk I'm going to just start putting in some curved lines going from one side to the other just so they meet in the middle. And then I'm going to put in some stylized leaves all the way through these double lines here. So that's just a teardrop shape. And one teardrop shape can just flow on from the previous one. Take your time over it. And then I'll also put some teardrop shapes on the outside of the tree. Like so. And then in the centre of each teardrop shape, just a little quick line. Just to give a, an appearance of a leaf. So I'm going to go around and continue finishing that off. And that's the finished design. So you can finish it off with some uh, little motifs down at the bottom, with some random curly motifs. Put some strange designs at the bottom, it's quite fun. You do some little mushrooms. Like so. I'll put another one of these in. And just finish it off how you like and then of course colour it as you like. So I've got some autumnal shades in this one but of course you can do any colours that you like to do. So I hope you enjoyed drawing that and that you'll give it a go. If you do give it a go then please feel free to tag me on Instagram at Dendryad because I'd love to see what you do and uh, I'll see you again soon. Thanks, bye.